So lately, I've been filming myself a lot, putting a lot of attention on, you know, how to set up the shots, where I'm at in the frame. Starting off, it definitely took some getting used to. I feel like a lot of times I find myself, you know, just trying to find the right shot, how I want to be lit, how it looks, the whole nine. But nonetheless, it's been a fun experience. I've been doing YouTube and providing content for you all, and also just documenting certain things that I'm doing uh, and just practicing some of my more like narrative shots. So yeah, without further ado, uh, rest and renewal. So I hope you guys liked it. I thought it was pretty cool. Again, it was a fun project for me to shoot. Just being outside, using natural light, only using the fluorescent bulbs that I had access to. Yeah, I guess we can just break down some of the shots and I can show you all how I did it and some of the tips I used to put this all together and make it happen. So I decided to open up with an establishing shot, uh, which I used a drone. Just really capture the space and the landscape. Pretty much see how big everything is from the mountains to the water to the trees. For that shot, I used the DJI Mavic Pro 2 uh, with the ND filter on it. I believe I shot that around like five. So the sun was kind of settling behind the mountains, but not golden hour yet, which I thought would be a good time to shoot so I can get some nice contrast with the dynamic range. For the rest of these shots, I used my Sony FX3 24 to 70 G Master lens and a small rig travel tripod. After the drone shot, I went to the FX3, set up a tripod, and got a shot of the gym. Which is funny because I captured me in the gym in the morning, but when I went outside to capture the establishment shot of the building, it was like too bright. I mean, the sun was super harsh on it. So I had to come back later in the day to get the shot of the gym when the sun was behind it instead of directly on top of it. Now this egg shot was interesting because I really wanted to get overhead, but again, limited equipment, you don't need much, you just have to be creative. I decided to use my tripod attached to the FX3. By the way, I don't recommend this at all. This just worked for me and I accepted the risk. And I put it inside the cabinet that was directly above the stove. So I actually went back to the gym, grabbed the free weight, put it on one side so the FX3 didn't fall into the eggs and my trip wasn't ruined. And uh, it worked out fine. Again, you know, to your own discretion, I wouldn't recommend doing this, but it worked out for me. So after eating, my next shot was taking a shower, just kind of washing off the gym and ready to get my day started. So I had to get creative with the lighting. Only had two sources, both being fluorescent light bulbs, one closer to the shower, which is the one I used, and one near the mirror. The one furthest away from me that was near the mirror, I actually undid the light bulb so that I could have kind of one source. I had no diffusion, so I took a pillowcase, I put it over the light source closest to me so that it would give more of a softer light and wouldn't be so sourcey. So this next shot is actually one of my favorites um, just because of the depth that I had with the rocks on one side, me on the other side, just interacting in my room. And this is all naturally lit, sun coming through the blinds. I just thought it made for a cool shot. So this scene opens up with a tight shot of the book I was reading and then cuts to a wide shot of the actual space I'm in. So there's a lamp in the background. Now that lamp was on the other side of the couch I was sitting on. Just to add some light to the background, create some separation from me in the background. And if powerful enough, I was hoping it would create like a rim or hair light, 
but I think it served this purpose well, especially for one of the next shots I have. So out of frame of this shot on the right side, there's actually another source with another light bulb that was obviously installed into this living room. And I wanted to keep that on so that it kind of gives light to the background and it's not too moody, not too dramatic, you know? So again, no diffusion, got creative, took a pillowcase, and wrapped it over that light. Cuts to a tight shot of me drinking tea. So I actually took the light that was next to me on the couch and put it on my lap, just so I can wrap my face a little bit, you know, get some of that Rembrandt going on. So using the idea of lighting spaces and not faces, I was able to kind of just set the wide shot, go in and get a tight shot of me, get the book I'm reading. It was much easier to move around and get the shots I needed once I had that establishing shot lit and ready to go. This scene was self-explanatory, you know what I'm saying? Just some good nature. You know, the good water, the good weather. So the idea here was me to swing the ax and jump cut into the wood already chopped, being lit on fire with a cigar. It's actually one of my favorite transitions when done well, so I went ahead and tried to go for it. And for the last few scenes, just wanted to get some shots of me with the guy smoking a cigar. One of my favorite parts of this scene specifically was like the flares and flickers coming from the campfire. So yeah, that's pretty much it. I hope you all enjoyed that video. Um, I had a great time filming it and definitely editing it. Just the FX3. Sony 24 to 70 and a tripod, you know, just gotta make it work. You know, I like to think that we always feel that we need the best lighting or a better camera or a better tripod. Sometimes it just pays off to go out there and shoot what you can with what you have. But thanks for stopping by. Definitely subscribe if you haven't already. Really appreciate it a lot. I think we're at like 8,000 something. It'd be great to get the channel up to 10 grand. A little ticker off my milestone. If you could help me get there, that'd be awesome. So until next time, you guys be safe, drink some water, and I'm see you on the next video.